Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Guys, and today I'm going to be viewing um, a, a little mod called the Death Scythe mod that you probably know by the title of this video. I'm sorry for the lag, I'm about to get Optifine and I'm going to get a better, well, recording system, but um, until then, this you're just going to have to deal with this. Um, so. We start off by um, the most important thing. Uh, first thing you're want you're gonna want to do is get some soul sand because with soul sand um, you can smelt it like so, and it will give you something called a soul. And what a soul essentially is is the is used for Lots of crafting recipes throughout this mob. So, um, this is what a soul looks like. So, there's a soul, and, uh, next thing you're gonna want is to smelt an ender pearl. And with an ender pearl, um, you can smelt it and get a shady pearl and shady pearl is also is used to be combined with the soul and um, make your soul pearl which I will show you next so uh, another thing is from uh, killing some of the mobs over there that you can see um, you will get a frozen soul and a frozen soul can be smelted and be able to turn into a normal soul but I don't think I have to demonstrate for you so um, basically what you do with, when you have eight I believe eight souls and one shady pearl that will be combined in this order to make the soul pearl and the soul pearl is used for most craft crafting recipes in this mod so um, next thing you'll want to create is called the if I can get to it the converter and it is crafted with two glass bottles five wood and a torch and then um next thing you want to do is mine well probably mine sometime before this to get all of these materials but you will want to mine and find something called unholy and holy ore and when you mine that it will give you a shard shards can be combined in the crafting table in this order to get the unholy crystal or holy crystal as seen here um and with those and with the actual shards themselves you can um put them into the converter and with a soul pearl and that will get you the unholy or holy soul pearl and for right now i'm just going to demonstrate it with the unholy crystal shard you put it in here so pearl first unholy crystal sh crystal shard next or holy crystal shard you'll see this little bar loading up in the top and then it should appear right here to have a come on Okay, the unholy soul pearl is what you should get from that, and that is used to craft unholy things, and uh, if you do it this way, you will get holy things from that. Now with those, the first thing I'd, I'd think that you would do is make the gods or, um, or death clothes or armor. Um, 
Now, uh, it's crafted usually the same, but instead of leather or iron, you would use the holy or unholy soul pearls. And I will demonstrate what they look like right here in a moment. So put these on and I'll demonstrate what how they look. Now that looks a bit goofy with my skin, but this is how it will look on you. Just imagine that it's your face. Um, okay, I'll put those back in the chest. Um, and then the next thing, oh crap. Um, the next thing that I would like to go through is the death armor. I, I, Leave that's how, what it is. Yeah, um, it is the Grim Reaper's gown, hood, leggings, and boots. I'll put those on right now. And this is what you will look like no matter what because it covers up your face. And yeah, it's pretty cool. That's the uh, Grim Reaper's armor. Um, I'll leave that on for now because that kind of that look cool kind of, I don't know but um I'll leave that on for now you know what I'll take it off okay so I haven't really invested all of my time into looking at the wiki of this mod, so some things you might just have to figure out yourself, such as the biomes. You can install the mod and get the biome, and find the biome yourself. But um, now let's go into the actual um, sites. After one thing I forgot to mention is the halos. The halos, I they they're kind of I don't know why you would craft some of that one and okay let, let me just get to them um, the sacred halo is crafted by a god crown chest plate boots and leggings and holy crystals and one gas tier and the corrupted halo will give you the will be crafted by Grim Reaper's hood, Grim Reaper's gown, Grim Reaper's leggings, Grim Reaper's boots, and unholy crystals, and one gas tier in the middle. Now, I have milk because basically they give you different potion effects if you have them in your hot bar, I believe. So, um, Go in game mode zero, and um, okay, nothing's happening. That's um, not usual, but okay. Uh, you can figure out what to do. Did you put it on your head? No. Okay. Um, usually that gives me. I think what a. Okay. I have to say it. Go um, check out Scott is Minecraft channel. Um, why? Because I'm about to say butter. Uh, I'm not allowed to say the G O L D word because another bow tie guy named James. Uh, he he will kill me if I do that. So butter, everyone. It, um, I think the sacred halo gave me last time I had it. It gave me the same. Um, potion effects as the enchanted butter apple so yeah now here's the corrupted halo nothing oh I got fire resistance apparently um, okay so you can check that out yourself I do not know what 
these were supposed to do, but last time, wait, I think I know it does. No, I don't think, I don't think I do, but if, uh, last time, I think the difference was I had both of them in my inventory. Yep, I had, if you have both of them in your inventory at the same time, that, that's not good news. Um... Yeah, and that, so far I'm only getting a uh, fire resistance from that one, and um, nothing from this one, apparently. And if they're both in your inventory at the same time, they will really mess up your thing. But okay, and that can probably be cured by milk because. That's why I had it in the first place. But um, I'll move on to the um, to the size now. Um, th these are the basic size that you will need: the soul pearl and two sticks. Three soul pearls, two sticks. We'll craft a death scythe, and with death scythes, you can craft. Holy and unholy slice. And to craft that, you need holy crystals around the scythe or unholy crystals around a death scythe, and then you will get one of those. They, I believe, the this one does the same as an iron sword, and these two are unbreakable and do the same as an iron sword. I don't think the death scythe is breakable either. But um, here I will introduce the zombie hunter and throwable size scythes. And the zombie hunter scythe is crafted with bones and rotten flesh. And if you do not spawn it in with creative mode, it will give you smite as soon as you craft it. And maybe another one. Um, Ooh, I forgot. Really? Huh, huh, huh. Okay. So, um... No, no, okay. So, if you craft the... Wait, let me demonstrate that. I believe that's how it works. If not, I'll just be a fool. Um... So, if I craft it correctly, okay, so if I craft it like so, I hope this works, yes, I will get the zombie hunter scythe, and it will be enchanted automatically with smite 4. And that is used for killing zombie pigmen or zombies, anything like that. So there we go. And the next thing is the throwable scythe. And that is crafted with two grindstones, which can be dropped by one of the mobs I will show you. And it is crafted with two, gr two grindstones six feathers, and a death scythe in the middle, and then you get your throwable scythe. Now, I'll use that to kill the spider. Why not? Um, I can throw infinite, but because I'm in creative, but usually you can throw one, and it will damage anything, and then... Wow, um, it will pop right back up like that. Um, so there's the zombie throwable scythe. Now next ones are awesome. They're the vampiric and thunder scythes. And if I get this one out and this one out, they're crafted like holy crystal, holy scythe and gas tears. This one's crafted with unholy crystals, blood, which can be dropped by, 
अगली वीडियो